It's Oscar weekend, so you know what that means. Time for the second annual 2020 Batters Award for the best badminton channels on YouTube. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Badminton Becky, an American living and playing badminton in China. Now this is the second time I've done these awards and I actually kind of had some like bigger plans this time to make it like visually more fun. But as you probably know, we're in the middle of the coronavirus right now. So we're kind of staying at home and my plans require other people. So we don't have that this year, stuck at home, but the awards must go on. One of the purposes for me to do this award ceremony is just to kind of introduce possibly new badminton YouTubers to you. So in an effort to do that, this time I have chosen all smaller YouTubers, okay? None of the big ones like Shuttle Flash or Shuttle Life or, you know, anyone with hundreds of thousands of subscribers didn't make the cut because I want to help promote smaller YouTubers and maybe people that you don't know that you should start following and help make them bigger because we all need to support our badminton community. Also, with one exception, I chose all new people. Um, so someone that won last year cannot win in the same category again this year, which does mean that I don't have all the same categories because cutest YouTuber is still Gerald from BG Badminton Academy. No one cuter, in my opinion, has come onto the badminton scenes. Where are the cute guys at? <laughs> so I have some different categories this time and some different winners just because, again, I want to try to promote more badminton people and get more people watching different kinds of badminton content. Best coach. This is one of the biggest categories on YouTube. You can find a ton of coaching channels and more and more and more every year. But remember, I'm trying to choose newer and smaller YouTubers. So the winner is Coach Kenny Asanshan. Hope I said her name right. She is a new YouTuber. She is, uh, I think, from the Philippines. She was number 11th in the world when she was a player in mixed doubles. And she has some... Uh, good coaching videos. Some of the audio, she doesn't wear a microphone, so it's a little echoey, but uh, clearly she's a skilled player and, you know, gotta give it up for my female homies because there's like only three of us on YouTube keeping it in the sisterhood. So check out her videos. Next category is best pro player. The winner of this is Victor Axelson. Okay, now I said I wasn't gonna give the same award to the same person. This is the exception that I mentioned. I'm giving it to him again because uh, Victor's trying different things. His videos, they kind of like keep changing. Right now he's doing like the VA Academy where he's like teaching different moves and stuff, but he tries to do some vlog stuff. He tries to do some teaching stuff like I feel like he's really trying and thinking about like the audience and what badminton players want to see from a pro player. So I appreciate kind of the hard work he's doing. Some of his videos, they try to be quirky <laughs> and fast cutting. And he talks about some of the stuff like off the court, like what books he's reading and stuff. I think, I think, uh, he deserves to win the award again for trying new things and trying to see what people like the most. And I appreciate that. Next up, a new category is best exercises. Of course, I mean best badminton exercises. And the baddie goes to play faster than your shadow. He does some short videos. They're usually silent where he is just demonstrating an exercise and just has some written words about how to make sure your form is correct. What I really like about his videos is uh, you don't have to do them on the badminton court. They're just like good exercises, like one-legged lunges and stuff like that, that will build your body in the correct way for badminton and will help your badminton playing, but they're not all expressly something you have to do on the badminton court with like four corners or whatever. In fact, many of his videos, he shoots them outside, so you don't even need to be inside to practice them. So I think it's very practical for badminton players to have these, uh, options of doing some exercises that are not 
directly on the badminton court, but will help your badminton game. Next category is best equipment review. Another huge category, probably one of the most successful categories on YouTube. If you make a equipment review video, you're kind of guaranteed a ton of watches. And the winner is, Bro, yeah, who cares wins again. <laughs> Look, you're never gonna convince me. There is no best equipment, okay? If you put in half the time, a quarter of the time that you spent researching equipment and watching videos about the best equipment in footwork, your game would improve a million times better than the best racket in the whole world. I even think equipment reviews are kind of dumb because people need different things. People like different things. So just because someone says, oh, this is nano thing is nanorific doesn't mean you're gonna like it. I've tried many, many of the best high quality Yonex leaning Victor rackets and I don't like the way they feel. I think the best way to find equipment is to just try other people's. And when you find a racket that you like, you say, hey, what's this racket? And then you go and buy it. You remember the kid that was my partner in that big tournament I was in? Yeah, his racket was less than $20. So don't tell me that you need expensive equipment to be an awesome player because you don't. You're never gonna convince me. I know this is not a popular opinion, but who cares? Next category is best badminton vlogger. And you should know the winner to this one, obviously. It's me. <laughs> this is my award ceremony and I'm gonna win an award every single time, damn it. Next category is best analysis. There are more and more people doing analysis videos, whereas they are watching pro player videos and they are kind of analyzing some of the techniques and the movements that the pro players are doing and they explain it in a in a clear way to help us common people understand it badminton with jeffrey before he came around i think i was the only american youtuber but he is also from america and um, he does a lot of analysis on like Lin Dan and his own playing and stuff like that. And he also has like a very calm and soothing voice. <laughs> so it's kind of nice to listen to his videos. He talks very slow and whatnot. So definitely check out Badminton with Jeffrey's videos for some good pro player analysis. The net, oh, by the way, can you hear that? Um, today it's Lantern Festival in China. So there's like fireworks that have been going off like this whole video. So I'm sorry if you can hear fireworks in the background. Okay, next category is best podcast. Okay, I know this is not a YouTube video, but it's kind of media. There are actually um, more and more podcasts which are coming out, which is really awesome. But the winner of best badminton podcast is the badminton podcast. Now I'm not just saying that because they interviewed me, but you should go listen to that episode. It is from Jeff and Henry, the guys at Volantware and um, I can tell you from being interviewed, they're very professional. The other guests that they have on the podcast are really good. It comes from people like you've never heard of that they're friends with, all the way to like pro players. So um, they cover really interesting topics, just good quality and interesting. So definitely check out the Badminton Podcast. Next category, a new category, creepiest YouTuber. <laughs> okay, let me tell you the winner and then I'll explain what I mean. The winner is GBN. I think it stands for Global Badminton Network. Not saying he's a creepy guy, <laughs> but his first videos that I started watching, he like just films himself in a totally empty room, like in the dark and he's like bald and he has kind of what I, like an ignorant American, would call a European accent. Like a the bad guy would have this kind of accent. <laughs> Recently, he's turned on the lights. But what he does is he does weekly updates about badminton news all around the world. So he will do um, winners of the most recent tournament. 
He will talk about any badminton articles in the news, like when Ken Momoda was hurt. He also goes through the new YouTube videos um, every week, and he talks about who put out a new video and what it's about. It's kind of like, I don't know if you know Philip DeFranco, he kind of does like a news digest show. This is kind of like the badminton version of that, and we don't have anything like that in badminton. Nobody else covers the week's news because there's Let's be honest, not a lot of news every week <laughs> about badminton. So I think um, this is a good channel. Doesn't have badminton playing, doesn't have badminton players or interviews or anything, but it's just kind of like a quick little wrap up on the week's news so you can stay abreast of everything. And the final award is a new category and kind of long, and I'm gonna have to explain it for a minute. Best YouTuber to attract a non-badminton audience. <laughs> this, I think, is an important category, so I saved it for last. Because the truth is, all these people, myself included, um, we're not gonna get an audience outside of badminton. You have to understand and know badminton to enjoy our videos. I do think Poison Cobra does this a little. He does like the silly challenges and eats chilies and I'm sure his audience of like 12 to 16 year olds is probably the highest of all the YouTubers. But badminton is not the star in his videos. Like the funny stuff, I think kids think it's funnier than I do. <laughs> I think it's kind of stupid, but the funny stuff is him eating chilies or him hitting his friends. It's not actually badminton. So while I think he has a lot of non-badminton audience, I don't think it converts to future badminton players. But there is one person I think that does convert to possibly future badminton players. Because what does YouTube like more than, you know, goofy challenge videos and prank videos and stuff like that? Privileged white guys acting ghetto showing off their life and there is only one badminton youtuber that does that anders antonson <laughs> you know anders is a white privileged guy from a very white country but all his videos are rap music and he's you know dancing like a rapper like a hoodie it seems silly from my perspective of a 40 something year old but kids love that and i can recognize that it looks cool like his lifestyle he shows off like hanging at the pool with the boys and he shows off his fancy hotels and i can see how that would be very attractive to young people and then he plays really good badminton i could see how young people would watch his videos because they're kind of interested in the lifestyle they'd want to watch that you know like the Jake Paul kind of, and the those twins that just like live in a big house and do pranks. I don't remember their name. This genre is very, is a very big genre of people kind of showing off their fancy life and young people really like to watch it. And I do think he shows it off in a cool way that people say, hey, I want to be a badminton player, <laughs> you know? I don't think any other badminton player and any other badminton YouTube channel would convert a non-badminton player in this way because he just looks like he has a cool life and badminton got him that cool life. That's why he wins what I think is a very important category, best YouTuber to attract a non-badminton audience because that's kind of what we need more of. So what did you think? Agree, disagree, did I miss some? I know I'm very European centric in that I'm only choosing English speaking videos. So I'm very sorry to the international community. I should know better, but it's just easier to watch YouTube videos in English. So what do you think? Agree, disagree? Who would you have picked for some of the categories? Do you hate some of the YouTubers that I picked? Let me know in the comments below. And you know, if you're a new channel, you know, I don't like, do an exhaustive search on YouTube. I just kind of watch what pops up on my feed like most people do. Definitely feel free to introduce your new or small badminton channel in the comments below and everybody look so we can all get to know some new YouTubers or some smaller YouTubers. And of course, I will put links to all the winners in the description box below. That wraps up the second annual Batters Award. Baddies Award? I forget the name. Gonna do it again next year, but hopefully there won't be a 
virus going around the country so I can actually not do it in my house because I think it would be more fun if I was actually at the badminton court and had help. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time on the court. Oh, <laughs>